As a cinematographer, something I like to constantly do is test different light sources and diffusion material. Uh, I think it's it's really good to practice and, and try things and just so when you go on set you already know what you're going to do. There are so many factors um, that contribute to the final image and I think the more you know as a cinematographer, the I guess the faster you can react to those problems and the quicker you can um, make decisions and make better decisions. Here I've got a very simple interview set up with just one key light on a 45 degree angle. Um, I purposely wanted to have one light just so I can focus on what that light's doing. Some of the things that I look out for will be um, how soft or harsh the light is um, on the face, how much spill are we getting on the background, and how much wrap are we getting from the light as well. I find these tests really helpful for, for me just so I know what type of source I want to use, what type of material I want to use, and I think it's just really handy just to know what you're going to get. Yeah, so let me know what you think. quite surprised that the the softbox light was um, one of my least favorites I mean it was easy and, and fast probably one of the fastest to set up but the light was a little bit too harsh I could tell that it was being lit by an artificial um, light source probably one thing you can do is put some other a second diffusion in front of it whether that's just a thin diffusion soft frost or something or shower curtain or something whatever that's just going to sort of take the edge off a little bit and make the light a little bit more softer my go-to will be to bounce the light off something whether that's bouncing it off in the corner of the room or if i had a some sort of fabric there in this case i had a bleached muslin fabric which is just sort of bouncing that light off and it's sort of spreading that light around we are going to get a little bit of um, light spill on the background and everything so if you did want to control that you can put some flags up so hopefully you got something out of this and um, if you did please let me know let me know what your favorite material diffusion that you like if you've got any other suggestions as well that you like to do or your preference or your preferred setup let me know as well and um, I'm, I'll be keen to hear it but uh, thank you for watching and um, see you next time